Alrighty, it looks like we have gone live. Let me check everything. This is pre-show. We'll be starting on time tonight. We have a pretty good show lined up for you tonight. Uh, this is the Helpful Chip Show, and my name is Roger Kaisling of KeyWebCo.net and KeyWebCo.com. Our show uh, covers a lot of topics. I used to always have like a theme for every show. That never worked. No one actually came to hear any one particular topic. They'd get in there for the one topic, and then the questions would be always about something else. So I've decided all of our shows can be about anything. If you ask questions, that guides kind of what I decide to show for the rest of the show. I have been doing this long enough that I have finally enough windows that I've created that I can cover just about any topic that's brought up in questions. So I'm just kind of letting you know before we get started that anytime you ask a question that will guide what we do further on. That's why I don't announce what we do before. It's totally different and I have done some new stuff today. Now what we're doing is I've given enough time for us to be live on some of my other networks. And uh, we are not streaming to YouTube, by the way. You need to watch these shows at keywebco.net on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. This show will be aired live tonight late. I, I upload it from the recording. All my YouTube shows are recordings. Uh, they come out better that way. All right, so we're here on DLive. I'm going to go look at my profile and go look at my channel and see if I am streaming. Uh, they come out better. Let me turn it up for a minute. I'm sorry for the feedback. I'm going to go look at my profile and go look at my channel and see if I am Okay, the music's not too loud. I always worry about the music being too loud. So we're going to test this chat. Our moderator should be in here pretty soon. Our moderator is perfect finds. Test worked just fine there, so let's jump out of there and let me go to, I don't have it easy access in here. I need to put Smashcast and I need to put Periscope with easy access on my phone so I can test the chat in those specific windows as well. Well, we're going to have a great show tonight. I hope a bunch of people come in, but I don't know if anyone will or not. I didn't really do any announcements today. Uh, I just didn't really have the time, actually, to be honest with you. Message. Okay, we are streaming on Twitch, so let me test this as well. And boof, there it is. Now, I'm going to go back to DLive. I always leave my comments on DLive. My moderator leaves their comments on Twitch. Now, eventually I will be streaming to YouTube again, eventually. But here's the dilemma on that. I'll talk just for a few more minutes. We've got five minutes for showtime, but we're going to start pretty soon. The reason I don't stream to YouTube is not any issues with my account or anything. Exactly. I have three accounts. One is for Key Webco, which is the one I'm trying to keep. One is for Roger Kaiserling, which is my personal one that I've had the longest. That one, I don't want to get rid of the Google email that's attached to it because it's had millions of engagements. But eventually when I monetize, I'm going to have to get rid of it because I use Restream so you guys can see all these feeds and everything everywhere I stream to, which I'm about ready to expand my streams. I cut down a bunch because there was no reason not a lot of people on them. But you know, I'm going to have it really, really big. So to do that, I like to use my restream because I can embed it in my sites easily and it works fairly well. I have been having some trouble with my daily vlogs. So now what I do is I record everything and upload it to YouTube. All of it's everything I do is visible at the bottom of keywebco.net and keywebco.com. So you can find it all there. All right. Well, let's take a peek over here. I don't see my moderator yet. So let's take a peek at the messages and see how long it's been. Yeah, they should be arriving soon, so I'll just tell them I'm live. We'll probably just go ahead and start the show here. Oh, let me get back out of that and go to DLive. I changed my phone. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I have like menus now that have all of my stuff in it. 
and I'm not used to using menus. I'm used to having everything all spread out and I just know where it all is. So I'm a little clunky with jumping around. So I will say hi over here again. Uh, over there on D Live. I like D Live because you're only streaming when you're live. You, there's no recording of it or anything else. All right. I like to keep my pre show about five minutes. Uh, I would expect moderator popping in any second now. They may be there. There might be a delay in the chat comms. Do be aware, guys, when I start the show, if you ask a question, and even if you see it on the screen, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm seeing it on the screen yet. If I switch windows, sometimes I miss questions. If I do, just ask again. No one is ignoring you or snubbing you. My moderator's pretty good about noticing when I don't see something. Uh, there's a significant delay sometimes between what I'm telling everybody and what's actually on the screen. Well, you know what? I think we're going to get going. Uh, the moderator should be popping in here any minute. I hope we have some people watching. Like I said, I did not advertise or do anything. Hey, Lee. Glad you made it in. Uh, you're there on Twitch. Uh, but we're going to have a good show tonight. Now, the show that we're about ready to start is uh, uh, pretty much how my shows will be, except for I'm not going to be spending very much time on each individual topic. You probably saw a show similar to this about two months ago where I went through and I covered kind of the things that we'll be covering. Well, Almost every window is created that I need basically for the next, you know, six months all the way until, you know, we're into this winter season again at the beginning or late fall. So we're going to zip through a lot of topics. Now, at any time you have questions on any topics that we're covering, make sure you ask a question. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. And uh, I hope you like my brand new intro and the brand new credits. Uh, I created them all. They, they're sort of like what I did before because I didn't want to go totally 180 and change everything. Uh, but they're, they're a lot different and I added a different uh, sound and stuff you're about ready to see. So it is now showtime. So we are going to begin. Welcome. The Helpful Tips Show will be starting very, very soon. This is our intro. My name is Roger Keisling of KeyWebCo.com and KeyWebCo.net. We talk about many subjects here. One of them is making money. If you need a website or you are checking in on Tuesday, use our video chat lobby at KeyWebCo.net. Just log in and there you'll be. Today's show will be on a myriad of topics, and I'm glad that you guys made it here to watch our show tonight. If you need excellent shopping, you can always find that at keywebco.com. If you need to know what kind of products to sell, we can help you out there too. Again, my name is Roger Kreisling of keywebco.com and keywebco.net. All righty. Well, that was my new intro. I hope you guys like it. We are also using that. Hey, perfect finds. You made it in there just right on time. Uh, we're also using that intro at the beginning of Ecom Tips podcast. Now, you're going to hear a little bit of noise in the background a little bit. My employee is very, very busy in the hall over there. He's been doing Macari listings. Now, you might not see too many live right now. But his phone is kind of full of pictures, so he's still screwing around with the boxes over there. So you're going to hear a little background noise. This part of the show used to be very dark, but I started it uh, with a different background. I did a lot of changing around today. This is the Helpful Tips live stream update. What we do here is I basically tell you what we're going to talk about in the show. He's working, yes. <laughs> yes, it's very hard to get him to do that. He has a lot of other farm stuff he does, but he, his time management skills are non-existent. But he, he, when he does do the work, it's normally all right. I don't have to do a lot. But yeah, he is uh, back there uh, trying to... We're going to make the Macari thing. See, he's going to be busting his butt on Macari. 
uh, trying to list just tons of stuff that I have to get rid of to try to actually make money for us as a business until I can get my website stuff and the blogging and the other services that I'll talk about later on uh, really taking off in my affiliate selling. I make a little bit, but not enough. So basically, he's going to use the leftover eBay business, which I have plenty of assets in, to uh, generate enough income that I'm not stressed on having to make websites. It's one thing to make a website for someone when you don't have to have the money from it. When you need the money from it, it's a little bit different game. And I never want my websites to feel like, oh, I've got to crank these out because I need the money. I always want it to be, I want to crank these out because I'm having a good time. Because <laughs> I like making the websites, guys. I really do. All right, so that is our live stream update. Our subscriber numbers, I believe, on YouTube are at 903, I believe, when I checked. Uh, we went up a couple and down a couple. Um that's normal. I'm not doing any subscriber drives, meaning I'm not really actively trying to get subscribers. That means when I try to get subscribers, this is what I do. I either talk to people I know that I've given things and guilt them into subscribing to my channel if they haven't done it yet, or I go to channels that I know have marketers. You can tell by the content that they normally have about an equal number of followers and subscribers. If you find channels that are like that, that are good, and you subscribe and they look at your stuff, 90% of the time they will subscribe to you back. I gained several hundred that way. So uh, that is just a little trick about getting subscribers on YouTube because that is a bit nightmarish. All right, so we're going to move on to the next chat window. Now, we're going to cover a lot of windows tonight. So I'm not going to go really deep into anything unless you have a question at any time. This next window is the window you guys are used to seeing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take the time to put in a few links, and I wish you would do the same. One thing that the moderator needs to pay attention to for either now or or any time throughout the show, because I'm going to mention it several times, is uh, the Ultimate Guide app. And actually, I have a new page that I made on my site. She might not even know it's there yet, but it is the Key Webco Apps Tools page, and it is in the menu. Uh, we're going to probably need those links several times throughout the evening. This first link that I put up here is keywebco.net, which, by the way, big announcement, it was supposed to be done on Monday. It is now Thursday, but my site is done. Now, I have, of course, always little edits, and none of the speed-up stuff is done, meaning speeding up the HTML and the picture loads. I even have some full-size images that will need compressed. So there is a tiny bit of work, but that's just maintenance work. But both keywebco.net, keywebco.com, I'm going to totally change, but it is an extremely easy change. Right now, when you go to keywebco.net, everything is done, including the listing information and all that. That's what I was waiting on. I do want to do a little rewording on the actual listing, but it all looks good. It's kind of the way I want it to be. So keywebco.net is done, except for the blogs and the ultimate guides, but we'll get to those in a moment. Keywebco.com, right now when you open it, it just starts off with products. Well, guess what, guys? I have done some calculations. Yes, excellent. I have done some calculations. That's the specific app. Um, that's the Key Webco app. Uh, we have the Ultimate app and we have four more. The easiest thing to do would be to share the app page because all my apps are there. And then if I refer to anything, you can just share one link all night. Save you a little time and hassle. That's a little message over there to my moderator. I don't want you guys to have to work when you're helping that much. I want you to more engage in conversation than have to be grabbing links. But... The apps that I have are available at my, all of my sites. The best place to get them, of course, is at keywebco.net. And it says apps-tools page. It's brand new. All right, so 
here we go. This is a little complicated. Now, I want everyone to share their social media links. It can be to anything, your businesses, your stores. But keywebco.com, when you first open it up, is all this HTML code products. That's really what I want it to be. But I did a lot of math. <laughs> I have a terrible headache from doing it but I did an enormous amount of calculations and I can speed up my site by almost 15% if I change it to look oh excellent perfect finds if I change it to look like keywebco.net instead of just beginning with all those products in the header and then hitting a small product a uh, small window section that is actually my store has one item in it and then going to the footer that has all my video it's going to be like the keywebco.net site. All of the code, all of the code is going to be in the footer. Uh, I may have to do a little bit of changing on the volume that I put in each one of those windows. Some of them have four or 500 products. I'm probably going to trim that down to about 200 products per section. It'll make it load a little better. So I am going to be doing some rewrite on uh, keywebco.com, but that is by choice, not by need. But it will make it so when you're switching between sites, they look exactly the same, except for when you scroll down to where the actual windows are. Instead of it having just my store and then the thing to buy services, you'll see a little thing about shopping in there a little more to make it more themed for shopping. But essentially, my sites are done, guys. My sites are done. That was a major deal. That's why I put both links up there for you. The site that's finished is .NET. The site that I'm is done, it's going to look the same pretty much, except for instead of the code at the top, it'll be at the bottom. Uh, I did add uh, some changes to every single page on all of my sites today. So these sites are going to load a little crappy and slow. I haven't even compressed all of the images yet because I did so much changing today. I wanted to be done, 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 and I am. So a little hint, if you're having some trouble when you're switching on a page, like between all those menu pages, if you're having a little trouble, like you see a big white area, something's not popping up. If you're on a mobile device, kind of pull the thing down, let it refresh. If you're on a computer, just hit refresh and it will refresh with a faster rate. That means your catch is probably full too. Because I, I demand a lot of the catch on your browsers when you guys use my sites. Uh, that will be trimmed down some. All right, that's enough about talking about that. Let's move on. Next section of the show here, we're going to talk about something that I, I'm kind of off the, off the grid, but not exactly. We're going to talk about the recipes for you app, which has kind of changed a little bit since I am no longer an admin of the recipes. Well, I am, but I just can't access it of the recipes for you group on Facebook, which I still 100% support. I have left the recipes for you app called an app, but it's more of a I have the Flipboard app that's recipes for you app and I have the original but what I'm actually sharing now is more of a recipes for you ultimate guide. Um, it's changed a little bit, but it still has all the links for all those original people that uh, uh, I support, you know, uh, Linda and Jody over there at uh, Facebook's recipes for you app or recipes for you page. And that app page, I don't even know if it's there anymore on Facebook. I don't go there anymore to Facebook, but I just wanted to mention that it's there and it's actually going to be a little bit better as time goes on. I am, I'm doing a whole bunch of reworks. Now, normally this would be a section that we would discuss business plans, but like I told you guys tonight, we are going through a mammoth. Yeah, go ahead. You know, it's called recipes for you recipes for you linda and jody's group uh it's just like my app if you can find my old app page the links are there as a matter of fact if you click on the recipes for you app it will take you to a link that has the facebook page on it in the recipes for you blogs and app i still have the facebook link i can click it and i can access it if i log in under a different uh account but i don't do that but uh 
this is normally where we would be talking about. This is one of the things that we go through pretty often. It's called business planning. This would be playing in the background and I would either be giving you new tips about business planning or discussing the ultimate app for business, which has a business planning section. We're going to talk a lot about that ultimate app. You guys are going to love that. All right, so let's move on because I'm going to show you a lot of stuff. This is a chat window. This would be the time where you would be talking, asking questions. Okay, so we're not going to sit here. I'm going to show you a lot of windows tonight. This is what we're going to be talking about basically for about the six months. These scenes are the scenes that you'll be seeing when we're discussing things. Next, now this one we're going to sit through tonight a little bit because it's only a minute long. This is the video chat lobby. This is what I want to take off. The streams, the shows, and all that. Yes, the show on Thursday, that's fabulous. My daily vlogs and streams. Yes, comment on YouTube. If you see it on YouTube, use the YouTube comments. I want to increase those. But where I want the chit-chatting to go on, go meet your friends there. Go video conference with somebody you know. Me or somebody else, I don't care. I want my video chat lobby to be the lobby where everyone goes and gossips or talks about business or asks for help. Uh, because that's where I can peek in. And I'm not over there on Facebook. And as a matter of fact, I get huge amounts of communications on LinkedIn and Twitter and all that. I barely look at them. So uh, if I need business, I'll go peek around. But that's about it. And actually, I haven't been spending much time with that because I've been busy. But I want my video chat lobby to be the social media hub of the Key Webco network. And uh, it's fun, actually, if you go in there just to chit chat and use it. There's other options too, but that is the video chat lobby. All you gotta do is log in with your email, uh, use your real info, and the only people that can see that have to be logged in to see it. If you're not logged in, you're not seeing it anywhere. And in the lobby, I erase it all the time. Uh, if you want something specifically erased, let's say you're going to go in and talk business with a friend of yours, send me a message in one of the many, many ways you can. Send me a message and say, hey, tomorrow at three o'clock, I've kind of got a business meeting. We're going to use your chat lobby. I might pop in at the same time if I can get it on my schedule and I will set you up a private password room that someone, even if someone logs into the main lobby, they still can't see your conversations. Of course, you can always hit the pop-up window and chat all you want, but I'm talking about for video conferencing. You can always use Zoom and other services if you want for that, but this is free, easy, and I am trying to get engagement there. I do want some people to go to the video chat lobby and share some information. Yes, you get to spam the Key Webco network. And trust and believe, if you write a very good blog or you have a good reference or a good app or a good YouTube video and you drop it into my chat lobby and I go in there and see it and I like it, it's going to get into my network and shared around. So it is also a way without being spammy uh, that you can share for a short time some links and people that pop in might learn something and share it around. Doesn't hurt to do, doesn't have any effort required. All right, so that's enough about my video chat lobby. This is another uh, section that you'll be seeing uh, quite often. This is just my being industrious business section. Here is where you would ask questions or we would be talking about subjects that are related to office work, either your filing or the view out your window in your work conditions or interviewing someone. This is my general, I have an office, this is the crap that goes on in it. <laughs> and that's what we discuss in this window. Remember guys, we've got a lot to go through tonight and I am not going to linger. So here we go. This is obvious what it is, social media tips. You guys have probably seen this window before and this runs several minutes. Now, again, in this show, I'm not gonna sit here where you guys can read all of these things to go through, but there's 40, I believe 41 tips. No, 32 tips, I'm sorry. 32 tips in here that uh, scroll through and it's because for 30 days, I did these exactly in this order sort of a uh, few of the days are switched but essentially in this order and it made my social media marketing increase almost by 32 percent by doing just what 
this says on the screen. So you can access that, of course, use the Ultimate app, and everything is there in one of our guides. So this will be something we discuss. Now, in this window throughout the year, we won't just be talking about do this, do this on social media. We could be discussing questions you have, problems you have with social media, or whatever you wish during these sections. All right, let's keep moving, guys. We're going to get through here. This, of course, is the app section. Now, I had this app page before, and I got rid of it. But I recreated it because I had my apps embedded underneath my daily edition paper on my website. Too much code in my footer, so I decided to take them out and just give them a page. You can access my apps easily in the menu. So, this is also... My Flipboard apps. So technically, I have six apps. Let me discuss that real quick while this is playing. I have my Key Webco app, which is my directory of all my services, basically. I have my shopping app that gives you the link to shopping at not just my sites, but my affiliate sites. I have my Helpful Tips app, which, of course, is for the Helpful Tips page. Any person that buys the $5 Helpful Tips private access page, of course, gets the app because it's got a nice little link in the app. You can push the button and access the page. But besides that, uh, it has the ultimate guides. It has the other resources that go kind of along with the helpful tips page. And it also is for my group members. I'm going to uh, do something special in there, but we'll talk about that in another show. And that is the the main ones. Then I have, uh, of course, the ultimate guide. I, did I cover that? I've got so many things I'm thinking of talking about further on. Then there's the Flipboard apps. Now that, you guys remember, I already had. Those are basically my old apps that I I do keep those totally current. All these Ultimate Guide and all the new information will also go into all of my Flip apps. Instead of sharing 18 billion apps, which you're seeing run in front of you, the logo apps and all that, I just now have a link on my apps page that is the Flipboard app and magazines so you can go to the primary page and then choose what you want it was just too many things to embed then i also have the ads me apps now the ads me apps are linked again i used to break those down into the individual apps ads me is no longer being serviced now it runs and the code that runs it is very well done very well done html5 code so it's probably going to run forever but it's not being serviced. So if it crashes, it crashes. So I still am using those Ads Me apps. I am keeping them somewhat current. Not as current as the Flip. Flipboard's just like the Ultimate Guide apps. That's enough on the apps. We've got a lot to cover. This is another section. Now, this section, you're going to see a lot. What to sell. Now, that can be anything. We could be talking about blogs, embeds, affiliates, reselling, uh, buying and reselling, or wholesaling. I mean, anything about selling. This is where your question and answer section would be on that topic. We're going to keep going, guys. We've got a lot to cover. This is, of course, for the Helpful Tips e-commerce group. Uh, that is the access page, the helpful tips page that everyone has to pay $5 for. That is not where the group is seated. The group is actually seated in my chat lobby and then in Mighty Network for private communications if they just want to talk to me and me get pinged and I know they're communicating with me quickly. A lot of people, you can, anyone can join the Mighty Network. You can find that at the bottom of my pages. That's a different topic. Then another thing, now I am always going to be talking about this Lumiere app. Yes, I am always going to be talking about Lumiere. Now, why is that? Well, you see that graphic? Look familiar? <laughs> my intros and my graphics that I do, I use Lumiere a lot. Now, of course, that visual in the video is from Video Show, and I do not have a section for Video Show yet. But I am going to be adding that very, very soon. Uh, that is going to be in one of my ultimate guides, the photography one. 
I may add video to the name of that as well, but for now, the photography and images one does not have all my new video information. That is one thing I haven't added to it yet. That's coming this week. Most of that that you're seeing, except for the little color things, that's all done with Lumiere. Now, and that's just a few of the little options they have. Plus, you can use other services and sites, apps, uh, uh, little tricks and stuff to really make your videos pop. I use that on 4th of July, that pew, 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 and more, uh, more things on that than anything else. All right. Now, that would be the normal length of a show. We went 22 minutes, but I didn't discuss any topics. So normally you would see about that many windows and then we would go to final credits, but we're going to just jump right over the final credits because we're going to discuss other things. Now, you guys have probably seen this one before. This is one that I haven't really changed and I don't think I'm going to because a lot of people like this window for some reason. I always get a lot of engagements when people see this, but this is our video marketing section. So that is another topic that we'll be discussing for the next six months. Then we have the websites. Now, obviously, this is one you're going to see probably too many times because I sell websites. Obviously, I am going to be showing you all the sections of the websites continually because most of what I discuss is in one section of a website or another, either a blog or marketing or social media. Since my business is about websites, obviously you're going to be seeing this a lot. Twitter, we talk about that. Now, Twitter, I am mammoth, guys. I deleted 27 some odd thousand people and I haven't bothered to follow or try to get any of them back. I had huge Twitter that was so flooded, I couldn't get any decent information on Twitter. In other words, I had so many people following and spamming my pages that it was awful. So I got rid of most of them. I think I'm down to like 20, I don't know what that account has. Maybe 27,000, I, I don't even know. But we talk about Twitter quite a bit, and I'm going to be using Twitter like I used to use before I got all hooked on Facebook about six, seven years ago. I was big on Twitter, uh, and I could be that way like that again, but I really don't want to. It requires a lot of time and engagement, which we'll get to another topic further on that will help you with that. Another section that we'll always be going through. Now, this is my blogging helpful tips section. This is actually where I talk about how to blog. Okay, this is where I talk about how to blog and what to do and how you use it. Then, this is a little confusing. Don't get confused on the transition here, guys. Then we go into an example of a recipe blog, but this is actually how I teach you how to blog. The other one is talking about uses for blogs, and I can talk about how to do it as well. This is specifically what is in a blog, and I use a recipe example. You guys have seen this one before. This will go through quite a bit because blogging is one of the most important things. Oh, I need to change my proportions. Sorry, I just noticed I need to shrink that down a little bit. Uh, but blogging is one of the things that is extremely important to every single business. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're selling on Amazon <coughs> or what you're doing. You need to get a free website and blog on there. Even if you can't do the fancy embeds and stuff, put out some good blogs. Put out a podcast. You can do well. You can get paid. Another topic that you will see us talk about, and you guys see me talk about this a lot, is growth. People are very confused what growth really means. I discussed that last week, but I'm not going to go into it again. But we discuss growth in many different ways. Another thing that you guys have seen before, and of course, you know I'm not going to part with this screen either, is the SEO topic. I just like the little Facebook thing floating up. I don't know why. But uh, SEO is something that we talk about a lot. And of course, you know, all of these relate directly to what's in that ultimate app. The, or in, in my apps. That ultimate app has my ultimate guides, which are free in those and then, of course, everyone's fun topic that they just get so thrilled when I put this one on, accounting. We're not going to stay on there very long. 
This is another one. I, of course, put these at our bottom of the list to zip through tonight. Uh, IFTTT. Now, this is if this happens and that happens. That is one of the most powerful tools to save you time. Save you time. You can't do all of your marketing with IFTTT, but you can definitely get what you do marketed, marketed in a much bigger way way. Yeah, your favorite topic. <laughs> so this is IFTTT. This is very important. We will devote. Now, you remember I said at the beginning of the show that we talk about a whole bunch of different topics every show. Once a month, I will pick some major topic that we will devote the entire show to and maybe even have a guest speaker or someone that actually wrote the program come on or give a little pre-recorded video from them or a podcast that I play during this, the, the video. And uh, one of the ones that we will be doing and probably will be doing fairly quickly before fall, you need to have all this set up before fall, uh, will be IFTTT. That's why I'm spending a little bit more time there. Now, that is all the windows that I have pre-prepped that don't need altered. Now, we're going to jump way, 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 way back. Let's see if I pick the right one. Fingers crossed. No. Darn it. <laughs> Let's see. Is it this one? No, that's the live stream one. Darn it. I don't know all the names yet. Hold on. Okay, this is where I think I want to go, maybe. No. Darn it. Ah, this is it. Yes, back to the Helpful Tips group. Okay, so we're going to sit here for just a little bit. Now, if anyone has any questions, this would be the time to ask. Now, if you want to discuss anything in depth today, we can do that. But I think what I'm going to talk about here for a few minutes is just how things are going to roll out for e-commerce sellers in this new year. I never really did my beginning of the year, what I see coming and I actually did a whole show on that, uh, not video. It was on podcasts a long time ago. And I people really liked what I had to say because I do a lot of checking before I talk. And I that's why it takes me all the way till now, almost the end of January, <laughs> before I do my beginning of the year. Well, this is what I see happening this year. I see the number of e-commerce sellers becoming astronomically smaller not necessarily by choice, but by design. I see the amount of marketing requirements going up astronomically, yet the tools and the ability to do it more constrained and restricted than we have ever even dreamed it would be in the past. You're already seeing this. This is nothing new, but it's going to roll out in a much larger way. I see YouTube becoming so financially commercial that everybody that is starting new will never reach the plateau in which they will be able to obtain any wealth whatsoever. I also see big shows that have been around for a long time beginning to notice the crunch. Uh, I have a, a, a show, I'm not going to name it out, but I have a show that I follow uh, and I have for years. Uh, it's in the UK, and I've been interviewed by them even before. It's kind of snobby, restricted little thing. <laughs> I'm just telling you how it is. Um, and it, it, they're very restrictive of uh, even who they transmit the shows to. It's public, but you don't ever know it's on unless they invite you. And so, you know, for years, they've been very, very big. The reason they're big is because the people that actually watch, not because how well they are monetized, even though they are very well monetized, they have sponsors. But that doesn't really help YouTube. And I see, I already see it. The channels that are getting the, the metrics. Oh yeah, yeah eBay's. I left it. That should just tell it you right there in a nutshell guys when i decide to close something because it is no longer profitable that means my analyst my analysis have determined that that platform is no longer profitable so i close it so yeah ebay is this is the problem i'm 
jumping around, but because they mentioned eBay, I was flown out to eBay to resolve problems that they had. They had a discussion. Yeah, everyone is. Everyone's everyone's getting out of there. Yes, everything has a time period of success. Now, you know, guys, don't be leaving eBay and thinking, oh, I'll just put all this stuff on Amazon and it'll do very well. Do that. Use Amazon as that cash cow while it's still there until it gets butchered. Because trust me, it's going to be chopped up into fillets and ribs and fat back and everything else very, very soon. It's just a matter of time. It was designed to do that. All businesses grow to a point where they can only get so fat and then they explode. And all the junk that goes flying all over the place becomes... Southwestern Bell, Pacific Bell, Ohio Bell, whatever the names they've chopped up these companies to. And that's just to give you an example of how these things fall apart. One way or another, all companies fail. eBay failed through stupidity. I'll be very frank with you. When I left eBay, the first thing that happened is it got better. Hub got released. The data got given to the people. That's what I went there for. Um... They improve their community. I have to be careful. Uh, everything I told them to do, they did exactly as I suggested, including one thing I told them not to do, they did. Don't change from a consumer to con consumer-based platform to a product platform. Use the aspects of product SEO to improve and enhance the service, but Always leave it consumer to consumer. The greed made them to decide not to do that. If they had not done that, eBay would have been solid for a while. I'd still be making buckets of money. But they did everything I told them to do, including the one thing, only thing, I told them never to do. And that's where they messed up. Then they bring this fancy smoke the spokesperson in, which I hated from day one. Uh, to basically pull the wool over everyone's eyes as they pull the rug out from what under you. They're basically charging you ginormous amounts of money to give you a fraction of what they barely gave you in the first place, advertising, or your listings being found. They decided to make their metrics so all of their companies will continue to sell from China or anywhere else that they have invested in. But nobody else will show in search beginning and the end. They did exactly what I told them not to do. They became a product catalog. eBay should have never become a product catalog. It is a consumer-based platform. That's what made eBay special. As long as they remained a consumer-based platform, even with the screwing around with the sellers and charging these ridiculous things, making you jump through hoops to fit some fantasy matrix that doesn't even exist, even with all that, if it had remained a consumer-based platform where the search engine was fair, more fair, not just one product, um, it would remain successful and it would not have lost thousands of sellers and worth millions of dollars just like myself. I pulled a million dollars of inventory off in a day. Poof, gone. Okay. I took away 150 sales a day that they took away by the search engine changing to almost nothing from their platform. The only thing they get was what I was funneling in. Go look up any of my old items or any links in Google search, and you're going to see eBay has not released any of my listings or taking them down. They have them redirecting all of them. Why? Because I brought a thousand people a day in for years. They're losing all of that. As a matter of fact, I can see the numbers crunching off. A lot of my traffic that used to flow along certain, I call them binary lines, but they're not actually, they're trigonometry. But, but certain mathematical lines is no longer flowing in those directions. But I have so much automation that's still going on from the past that some of those flows are still there. Yeah, eBay is rude. And so are all the rest. 
I'm telling you guys, you're going to have to have your own website. And then play with the platforms. For example, if Superglue can sell well on Amazon and Superglue decides they don't want to sell on Amazon anymore or they have old Superglue and they're discontinuing it, now they call it Mega Glue. Anything that's labeled super glue, you can sell very, very well because the search metrics is always going to go where the big companies are invested. So outdated, discontinued, um, you don't want recalled particularly, <laughs> but outdated, discontinued products, things that have been upgraded, those are the products that will sell. Those are the products that will come up in Google search. And those are the products that you want in your websites. The other things that you want in your websites, let's jump around. The other thing that you want in your websites is video marketing. Because video marketing gets the attention that after they see a post and they click on it, they can remember it. All right, well, we have been on 37 minutes. I have gone through a lot of different subjects. I have not really taught much or covered much, but I wanted to do one show at least this week that showed a lot of different topics that we'll be covering. One area that I did not cover today very well is the recipes. I have an ultimate guide for that. Another area that I didn't really cover very well is do-it-yourself and farming and gardening. I am going to do a whole series on the farm here. As a matter of fact, uh, the show that you're going to see next week will be, you'll actually see the physical order on the screen of me placing my order for my chickens. Uh, I'm going to do what I call you probably remember a book in the past called The uh, Five Acre Gardener or The Ten Acre Gardener. It's designed for people that live in small towns and cities where they can actually support themselves off of five or ten acres. Well, I've got, I don't know, what is it, 60 or some over here, 60 acres over here. So I shouldn't have any difficulty with the five or ten acre plan. But here's the deal. I have decided I'm going to do some of the projects that I've done in the past, but I'm going to do them all this year. Because if I only do part of them, I'm only getting some of the meat, some of the vegetables, some to take down to the farmer's market, some of the crops that my orchard picked. My orchard hasn't been picked for three years. It's overgrown with plethoras of apples and peaches and pears that mostly just fall on the ground or the neighbors steal. So what I've done for my business. See, until it goes online and becomes something economic, I don't have time to mess with it. So what I did is I integrated my blogging system, needing photos of this being done and needing the produce from the, this being done and showing how to butcher a chicken and how to cut it up. All of that I'm going to be doing this summer, but I did it. I'm doing it in an organized way. So as my shows roll out, you're going to see the chickens. I'm going to have, we, we've got to do a little bit of repairs to the chicken coop. It's it's good. We have a roof repair to do, which is nothing. But that's it. The rest of it's all cleaned out and good to go. Uh, our corral. We're going to make a cement trough. We did it. I always say we throw our stuff on the ground. It's not on the ground. We have logs that we have split. But. It's not very good. They can knock them over sometimes. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a concrete trough that actually has a drain. You have to put a drain in it or a fill up with water. So we can actually, along the edge of my corral, put the fence posts into the trough as it is built. So it's all built into the corner. Then I am getting a... a, a you would call it a silo, but it's nothing like a silo. It's basically a barrel on legs that will be filled with corn that I just pull a lever and it runs down into the cement trough and goes all the way around and it will cut down food waste a little bit. We don't really waste that much because the logs are underneath, but sometimes they knock it over. So there's all the farming stuff. We're also going to plant an entire yard, my entire front yard, not the back, but the entire front yard, everything you see from the road. We are buying, uh, well, we're going to cut it here and buy some, but we're covering it all with straw and we're planting cantaloupes, pumpkins, watermelon, zucchini, anything that vines. My entire yard, 
the whole thing is going to be that and we'll harvest those and feed those to the cattle in the winter so all that is coming too so uh i've really really got my business done guys when i told you the other day i'm going to go to another topic just so it's not the same window when i told everyone the other day in my daily vlog that my website is done my website is part of my business plan so when i say my website is done that's not just the physical website that you're seeing online that means that all the pieces for my business plan to operate my business my business is not just making websites not just selling affiliate things not just doing shows not just doing blogs not just selling locally i do flip some stuff on consignment not just doing the farm and all that it's all of those things together and that brings me to the last thing I'm going to talk about. We're going to jump back just to some window. I don't even know what it is, what to sell. That brings me to the last thing uh, that I'm going to talk about before we go to the final credits tonight. When you join Helpful Tips, you join by going to the lobby on Tuesday at 7 p.m. That didn't cost you any money. When you join the Helpful Tips group, basically you're showing up at the lobby you become part of the group you go to the mighty network that is keywebco.mn.co that's the mighty network and you'll socialize with me and get to know me there then you'll get to know the group members in the chat on tuesday then this is this is a little tricky then I will send announcements only through the Mighty Network. It's not going to be public anywhere else of either a Zoom meeting or a Hangout or whatever the, happen, the meeting happens to be that I go to. Now, basically, what you're going to do is log in and keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I know that's messed up. They may address you and say, hey, we know that there's some people in. You just say hi. You don't have to introduce yourself or anything basically you're just going to be eavesdropping on board meetings that i attend all the time that's just a little perk and not too many times but other times what we're going to do is we're going to have what what i call a visual meetup not in my public chat, chat lobby but in a zoom meeting where i schedule a zoom meeting by invitation only you will invite other helpful tips people that are part of my small group will invite important people that they know or want to be part of the conversation. And we will have like, you know, I was talking about the IFTTT thing for the shows. Let's say we want to do a IFTTT Zoom. Anyone that you know that wants to learn about that stuff, doesn't have to pay any money and be in our group and all of that. Invite them to those meetings that aren't public, that aren't on Facebook, that aren't on Twitter. They're just in our mighty network and in our lobby. Because that's where the upper echelon is actually going to be in my groups. I do require the people that become part of the helpful tips group, not the access page, which is $5 one time fee for all the information on the planet, basically. But the group that's helpful tip is in the chat lobby. And then I'm going to have a private group that I send invitations to to do these extra events. Anyone that is in the private group pays $5 a month to, I would prefer, my Ecom Tips podcast. Now, that's a minimum of $5 a month. Everybody that gets any services or anything at all from me or is in any of my groups has to pay the $5 fee to access the Helpful Tips page. Now, there's multiple reasons for that. The main reason you have to have that page is all the information you need to run your business is there. And I don't have time to be sending you apps every five minutes to give you your answers. I can send you to one page. You can read down the list and find everything you need with the links to get it. And that's the extra bonus. All right, guys. Now, does anyone have any questions about what's coming on for the next six months? You guys are going to see chickens with their head cut off. You're going to see gardens planted you're gonna see my rose garden actually it's all ready to go i took out all everything i'm gonna i have american beauties that i have crossbred with american delights i also have uh, 
a few other rose types that I've made. I have a bluish rose. It's more of a purple rose that I've made as my own crossbreed. I'm going to show you how I did all that. We're going to have a vegetable garden with the tomatoes and all the basic, but mostly we're going to have the pumpkin stuff. By the way, if anyone can figure out how to do that Streamlab poll, would you do it? <laughs> Percent of poll is going for you. Do you like our graphics? We are just starting out. Vote. I guess you have to put the little parentheses thing to vote. I have no idea how that Streamlabs poll thing works. Maybe I'll look at that and figure that out one of these days. Because that poll pops up every show. And I've never looked at it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed. We've been on for 55 minutes. I'm making it an hour. So I hope you enjoyed listening to me rattle on and on and on about all the things we're going to cover uh, soon. I mean, this is all coming up very, very, very soon. Let's see what this scene is. Okay, let's go back here. We're going to go back to the live update, which is where we started the show. If one thing you can possibly do between now and next week is go through and look at your business plan. How long has it been since you've used an eraser on it and changed anything? How long has it been since you've updated or come up with a new idea? I want everybody that is a Helpful Tips member in any way, shape, or form to at least every quarter crack open that blow off the dust on that business plan get it out of the file <laughs> 10 years blow the dust off and go through it if you do it four times a year you'll actually be successful in a few years guys i'm not kidding you ignoring those business plans was the ruination of a business that was worth millions of dollars that i had created before don't make the mistake i did long ago i will never make the same mistake twice and don't make the same mistake i did always have an adaptable business plan written in pencil that you review all the time if you make your business plan adaptable for any contingency and don't get set in your ways if you see something's not working change it if you see something is working figure out why and make it work better that's how you stay on top of it. And I'm going to end this show like I end all of my shows with a little saying. I always say do more. If you are not doing more, someone like me is doing more. And chances are I'm the one that's going to get the sale. If you're doing more than I am, Google's going to know it. Google is the one that controls how much money we make. Google is the one that controls if anyone even knows I sell websites. Google is the one that controls how much eBay crap you're going to be able to peddle when eBay fails and you're looking for a network to put it on. I highly recommend resellers decide to look at all those small apps and figure out ways to move your products on those small apps like Macari. Things without any hassle. Things that your search engine is the app itself, not Google search. If you're trying to hit Google search, you better have a website. That's my advice for today, my final words for the day. Now you guys get the joy and pleasure of seeing our final credits. Music.